All right, I'm gonna walk you through the process that I would use in order to find high resistance, okay? This circuit has a complaint that the motor is spinning too slow. So let's flip our switch. And the motor is definitely spinning a little bit slower than it should be. Let's make sure you understand this circuit a little bit. We have a fuse running to our switch. Our switch, even though we can't see it, if I look at a wiring diagram, the switch is actually feeding power to this coil. And then ground to the coil is constant. And then we have power being fed to the common of our relay. And then when the relay's in one position, it outputs power to the motor, which always has ground. And then when it's in the other position, it outputs power to the bulb that always has ground. So our bulb's working just fine, but our motor's spinning slow. So we know some things are working here. We need to figure out why is the motor not spinning at full speed. So anytime you have a complaint that something is not working properly it's not that it's not working at all it's that either you know bulb bulb might be dim motor might be slow those kinds of complaints you're usually dealing with high resistance okay now you could potentially have a lot of high resistance that could cause something to not work at all right and it might fool you into thinking you have an open circuit but during your testing i'm sure you'll figure out that it wasn't an open it was high resistance but in this case very easy to figure out we have high resistance somewhere in this circuit Okay, so we're going to turn our multimeter on to volts DC. Anytime you're dealing with, well, really, anytime you're dealing with electrical problems at all, I always start at the battery, but especially with high resistance because we need to figure out, well, how many volts am I dealing with in the first place so that I can see what's missing. So we're, we're dealing with 13.96 volts, and our problematic piece is this. So we're going to turn on the motor, and we're going to come straight to the motor, and we're going to voltage drop the motor. It's the only thing in the circuit that's on right now. So it should drop all 13.96 volts, but it's only dropping 8.45 volts. So we're missing something here. So now we're simply going to voltage drop the ground side first. Ground side's dropping nothing, that's good. And then we're gonna voltage drop the power side. Oh, there's our problem, right? Our power side, which should be dropping nothing, is dropping around 5.3 volts. So then I'm gonna keep my lead over here on the positive, and I'm going to work my way backwards in the circuit to figure out, okay, well, where's it going? So I'm gonna go over here, right there. Nope, this one. Okay, so what happened, right? We were, we were dropping 5.3 volts here, but then when I come to here, I'm not dropping any volts. So where's our high resistance at? Well, it must be between these two points. So to verify, come over here, and sure enough, there's our missing our missing voltage. So there's high resistance on the connection between the relay and the motor. That was pretty easy to find, okay?